Hi everyone, welcome to TrophyPursuit.com. It's the morning of July 1st. I want to thank you for joining us today. And what we're going to do for the next few weeks, at least the next two webisodes, is take a step back in time. And we're going to air some hunts from the past. In today's webisode, it's uh, going to be all about this buck right here to my right. He's a deer I call Full House, my biggest bow kill yet. I killed him back on November 4th, 2011. So this hunt has actually never even aired on Trophy Pursuit. Trophy Pursuit didn't come into existence until the uh, summer of 2012. So sit back, relax. I hope you enjoy this. One thing before I go, don't forget to click on the top left shopping cart. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about Trophy Pursuit Apparel, and we finally have our online store up and running right now. So there's a lot of nice things in there. Check it out. And other than that, I just want to say thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. It's absolute. Uh, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in shock. Trophypursuit.com brought to you by Upwind Odor Elimination. Fourth, we're back at it again after our close call this morning. Um, I'm a little bit bummed out, but oh well, it happens. We're uh, gonna stay on the same farm. We're just gonna go to the opposite side of it. It's a uh, really good spot. I actually killed my bucket there last year so it's getting late we better get going we have to hang two stands and get ready spot um, we've always wanted to get in here but we've never made the time to do it um, in previous years of hunting we noticed a lot of the deer like to come out of this big timber and on the way to a big corn food plot over here they'll go past this island so we're set up in a good spot we got scrapes and rubs everywhere ruts on something should walk by with the evening sun setting fast, I could hear a buck thrashing a tree about a hundred yards away. I knew it was now or never. A few minutes after my rattle sequence, I heard walking to my left. I looked and there was Full House, my number one hit list bug coming right towards me.
Good shot. Go down, baby. Going down. Heart shot him. He's down. Just heart shot him, boy. Oh my god. I was drawn back for over two minutes right there, man. Yeah, yeah baby. Full house yeah, on the baby. ground. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh man, we've been hunting that deer. It's only been three days, but we put our time in. Blake's been helping me a lot, and so has Jeff Everly, and I owe those guys a lot to that buck right there, but it feels good to finally get one down on video. Um, that buck we got pictures of for two years. He was the deer that I wanted, and after this morning when it didn't happen, it didn't work out with a rookie, I was in the dumps, I really was, and Blake and Jeff both told me, you know what, it's November 4th, anything can happen. Um, Blake and I walked in here to this set, it's a spot that I have known would produce and we've never walked in here before we walked in we didn't even know if we'd find a tree and we found a tree and we probably cut for 30 minutes on it got up in here and uh, we got pictures of full house I think three days ago just over this hill so we knew that he was coming somewhere around here we hunted there this morning checked the camera he wasn't down there so we figured he was coming from this timber I hit the horns together because I heard something down in there and uh, sure enough here he came May have drawn, drawn too soon, but uh, we still got it done. I put a heart shot on him. So I want to thank the landowner the most, though. Um, he lets us come in here and do these things, and without him, then we wouldn't be able to do it. So you know who you are, and I appreciate it more than you ever know. We're going to get out of the stand. We're going to call some people, and uh, we're going to go get him. Thanks a lot, buddy. Yeah, baby. Yes. Feels good. Big game animals can simultaneously detect obtrusive odors in a matter of seconds. When you enter his world, you're at the mercy of his senses. Eliminate the odor compounds that define your scent identity. Hunt down odors. Hunt upwind. Programming brought to you by the Buck Commander Nano Trail Camera by Wild Game. The new Nano Trail Camera line features some of the smallest cameras on the market today. Boasting 10 megapixels in an 80 foot flash range. Wild Game Innovations Buck Commander Nano Trail Cameras. Small in size, big in features. After reviewing the footage, we realized that the shot was lower than originally thought. We made the decision to back out and start the search in the morning, and that turned out to be a very wise choice. As we started tracking, we found a good amount of blood, and then, 100 yards in, we found a bed but no full house. My confidence began to diminish with every step. 100 yards turned to 200, and 200 to 300. Bed after bed, but no full house, until finally, I heard the words I'd been waiting to hear. There he is. Yes. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. Wow. Awesome man. You got him at the one. You got, got one long, didn't I? Yeah. Damn, he went a long way. Congratulations. Thanks, buddy. Dude, you know, thanks Tra for helping me. Tracker Bill. Uh, right in front of the show. I can't believe that deer went nice. that far. I'm going to see where it went in at. Here, we hold this. What a great buck. Hey, it went right where we saw it. Right, right where we thought it. I'm surprised he went as far as he did, but I must have missed the heart and got one longer. What do you think, Bill? He you hit longer. a long. This is the deer I want. He snapped this off right here. He snapped Dude. about what a, three what inches a giant, off. man. Wow. Well, it's the morning of November 5th. Um, after shooting him last night, initially I thought I drilled him. Um, we did a quick track job on him, and we ended up deciding to back out. We found a spot where he stopped and bled quite a bit, and. Uh, I had a feeling that he probably went quite a bit far farther. So, but uh, altogether, he probably went 400 yards. Um, I think I got one long and it exited just in front of the other shoulder. So, anyways, though, we're glad we found him. Um, a quick history on this deer: um, we got pictures of him last year on the farm, and he just stuck around for a few pictures in the summertime. He never showed up on any scrapes during the fall, and uh, 
and then this year came around and he showed up again and he grew a lot I mean he he made a big jump and as you can see in the pictures um, they can do a lot of things from three and a half to four and a half years old the two-year quest for full house is over and I couldn't be more grateful for the help of my friends and, and helping getting him and also the landowner and and giving me the opportunity to hunt here um, without him and without my buddy's help and things like this wouldn't happen it's definitely a team effort when a big buck goes down so I want to thank th those guys and uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that webisode. For me, it brought back a lot of memories. That right there is the main reason that I film my hunts. And as I mentioned in the video, I, uh, I want to thank the landowner for allowing me to do the things that I do. If it wasn't for him and the other landowners in the area, I wouldn't be able to chase uh, the caliber of animals like Full House year in and year out. So with that being said, uh, make sure to keep checking back into trophypursuit.com. Again, next week will be a hunt from the past. And then in two weeks, it's going to be a webisode you don't want to miss. We're going to air Justin Berg's Canadian Shed Hunt webisode. He found a lot of antlers and a lot of big ones at that. So keep checking back into trophypursuit.com. We'll see you next Tuesday. Want to know why I use a Hoyman saw? Unlike a pole saw, it's compact, portable, lightweight, and extends to your desired length. Plus, the I-beam construction makes it rigid, and it doubles as a handsaw. Hoyman, the shooting lane saw. At Graf Habitat, there is no off-season. Farming techniques and conservation practices combine to provide an elite hunting property and habitat management service. We use strategic planning and relentless execution to develop turnkey hunting properties. From concept to reality, this is Habitat by Design. You know, when I was a kid, my dad bought the farm back that he had grown up on. I love that place. I knew every inch of that place. It, it's my favorite place on earth. That dirt's just rich, man. It just smells good. Man can create some pretty spectacular and awesome things. He don't hold a candle to what God makes. Programming brought to you by the new Brotherhood Compact Hunter by Flextone Game Calls. Thanks for watching, and remember that the hunt never ends at trophypursuit.com.